So guys, we got up early today and we started working here at the dining room table area. Working on a new email system through MailChimp. And if you don't know what MailChimp is, it is a like mail list management system. And it allows you to have people sign up for your email list and they go into certain lists and then you can send mass emails to those people. And it's really powerful because uh, you can see who opens your email, you can see how many times they opened it, you can see what links they clicked within the email, and there's just a lot of data that helps you know whether or not your email marketing or your email newsletter um, is being effective or not, right? And so if people are bored with it and they're not reading it or they're not clicking the links, then there may be something in there that you need to change to help people so that they are more interested in reading what you write. So anyway, we've been working on that. Jules is gonna be in charge of, of the MailChimp email newsletter now. And so we're excited about that. That's really cool, but right now, we're feeling hungry. We're on the 19th floor. Breakfast is on the first floor. All right, floor one, let's find breakfast. Ooh, nice. Let's see what they've got here. Little tiny muffins and cake. Ooh, and little tiny Danish pastries. We've got croissants. And then we've got fruit and salad and yogurt. This is probably, yep, this is uh, rice porridge. And this is all the stuff you can put on the rice porridge. Ooh, yellow rice. Ooh, roti canai. Oh, curry. Chicken hot dogs. Yeah. Meatballs. Potatoes. Corn. Fat rice, nasi, nasi lemak, little uh, fish, eggs and stuff to go on it. This is uh, chicken and um, something else. I don't know what that is. Oh, sambal. This is a hot sauce. And then we've got the omelet section. Get an omelet made to order. And soup right here, noodle soup. And then, of course, we've got the coffee. And what else over here? Drinks. Orange juice, water and guava juice. What'd you get to eat, sir? I got, well, this is just for starters. I got like meatball things and potatoes, nasi lemak, like the rice here, but without the peanuts and the fish, because the peanuts were mixed in with the fish, so I can't eat it. And then I got, um, what is it called, corn? Okay. <laughs> hey, Seth, what'd you get to eat? Well, for starters, I got cereal, and, um, what's this called? Roti ganai, and then the sauce. Joe's, what'd you get to eat? Hi. For this morning, I'm trying this strawberry yogurt, watermelon slices, and a roll with butter. I got roti canai and also the um, curry sauce to go with it as well, just like Seth. Oh, breakfast was good. All the food was tasty and filling. The problem with buffets is I often eat too much. Yes, Sether. Did you eat too much food, Seth? Maybe a little bit. Sir? You're full. You're full. I did not eat too much. I ate just right. I think I ate too much. Me too. I'm just but it was really good. No, like, no, like, regular American breakfast food, really, except for cereal and omelets. All right, guys, so we pretty much got the MailChimp thing figured out. And uh, we need to write up some emails and do some practice and do some practicing with it first before we, we know we've got it down for sure, but we've got that pretty much squared away. We've been working on text, uh, you know, like closed captioning for our YouTube videos for you guys. And that's really what we've been working on this morning. But again, we're feeling kind of hungry. Well guys, first we went into this really nice building and all of the restaurants were really nice and expensive. We felt kind of out of place, huh, Jules? Everybody was wearing like business attire and everybody was dressed really fancy. And so uh, we ended up coming across the street and found a KFC. So we'll eat here with KFC type people. <laughs> Jules got a rice bowl, no, a potato bowl with like cheese and chicken and corn and stuff in it. Sarah got uh, chicken and mashed potatoes. Sarah, can you open up the mashed potatoes? Yep. Because in Indonesia, they don't have mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. 
So, you guys in Indonesia are missing out on mashed potatoes. Seth got the wasabi wrap. It's got rice, and chicken, uh, wasabi sauce, and maybe some kind of vegetables. For those who are curious, this is the men's bathroom at KFC. Yeah, so that was the whole bathroom there. And then they have a public, you know, hand washing area. But the whole bathroom just one little stall. Now, lunch was good. It wasn't anything great or special, but it was good. And uh this is for now. What's it for? This is so that this is for wheelchair access, but motorcycles can't come up here or a small car. Oh yeah. But wheelchairs and pedestrians can. So like the wheelchair and the wheelchair pusher can get through there, yeah. but motorcycle handlebars won't fit. Good, that's awesome. Huh, and kids can play on it too. Use it for a jungle gym. Yeah, so now we're gonna uh, try to find a grocery store on the way back to the hotel. Pick up some things, we need to get some soap and stuff like that. Shampoo. I guess they should provide that in the hotel, but maybe Joe's wants special, special soap, I don't know. Joe's, we're gonna go look for shampoo. Because the does the room not provide it? It has a small bottle. A small bottle? But there's four of us. Oh yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That's the reason we're gonna go look for some. Alright, we found it. Let's cruise on in and see what they got. Yeah, bud. Huh. No food, no Seth or Seth can't come in. So pretty much a regular grocery store. If I find anything unique that I think you guys might find interesting in here, then I'll show you. Otherwise, it's like any other grocery store. So just in case you're traveling to Malaysia sometime, this is the type of plug they use. And it looks like that. Yeah, it's 220 to 240 volts also, just so you know. All right, well, here's something I've never seen before. Kickapoo. Kickapoo Original Kickapoo Joy Juice Recipe. Citrus flavored soda set. Sounds like a Native American name, Kickapoo. F&N. F&N, yeah. Like all right, so here's something a little interesting. These are quail eggs, little tiny eggs. And you've got this, salted eggs. It's like in a black, it's coated in a black, I don't know what that is, coated in something black. And then you have these eggs up here. These are century duck eggs, and they're covered in like wood chips or rice hulls or something. Bunches of different types of dried fish, salted dried fish like that. and little tiny shrimp. The other important thing that we needed to get in here, which I forgot about, was coffee. Jules, what kind of coffee did you get? I found Kapo Api coffee. Oh yeah, this is the same coffee, the coffee that we have in Indonesia. Yep, cheap. Cheap. <laughs> well guys, we brought that coffee back. I said it was the same type of coffee that we have in Indonesia. It is the same brand, but when I opened it up, it looked a little different than what we get. And it's a lot coarser ground than what we normally have. The coffee in Indonesia is what's called like Turkish style. It's ground super fine, finer than espresso ground. And you just put it in your coffee like you would instant coffee. And it just settles to the bottom. It makes like this fine mud at the bottom of your cup. You don't need a filter, you don't need anything. You just put it in your cup with hot water. So this is a little different. It actually says on the front right here that it's a coffee mixture. It has coffee beans, cereal, sugar, and salted margarine. Salted margarine in your coffee? Doesn't taste bad. So the train station kicked us out into this major mall. I think it's the KL City Central Mall with the Petronas Towers, maybe. No, it's a different mall? Well, besides for the, the big mall, yeah. we went the other direction. We went the opposite direction. All right, but well, we're in some kind of mall. Yeah.